Well, it's always a great feeling to drive your first winner, but when you drive it here at Club Menangle, headquarters of harness racing here in New South Wales, well, what a thrill. I caught up with a young man who did exactly that today, Grant Ullul. Well, Grant's been six years in the making, but what a thrill scoring here with Bartello in the second event. Yeah, mate, right, yeah, it's been a long time coming, definitely. Product of the Mini Trotters and also the Maxi Trotters, so you've worked your way through the ranks. Yeah, 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 it started out as in the Minis, went to the Maxis and came to these big ones. I probably had a bit of a break for about two years there, just got stuck into work and now just, yeah, just started getting back into it again. We'll find out about your work very shortly, but after 116 attempts to greet the judge, you did it today and did it in style. This fellow's got a future. Yeah, well, that's a lot, 100 and 116. Um, yeah, no, he's a, he's a lovely little horse. Uh, we brought him up from home um, as a foal and, uh, yeah, really exciting to see what he's going to offer. What was your feeling on the home turn? You were coming out white. Yeah, I, I sort of seen the favourite come inside me and I, I was panicking a little bit. But uh, once we straightened and he flattened out, yeah, he, he was good. And Grant, it seems to be better out wide, which certainly enhanced his prospects of greeting the judge. Yeah, the track was definitely harder on the outside, yeah, for sure. He had the one trial, she had a lot of promise in that trial, so that win certainly wasn't unexpected as far as you're concerned. Yeah, no, Dad and I were pretty confident in him. His, his track work since the trial has been even better than what it was in the past. So, um, yeah, no, yeah, he went really good. He's by Mr Feelgood out of the mare early exit, which you raced. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so we had the mare at home, we won two with her. Um, yeah, quirky little type, Mr. Feelgood, as a young horse, but yeah, no, really happy with him. Your dad, Alan, trains this horse, and both of you are virtually just hobbyists. You both have your own business, but and following this win, Grant, he does seem to have a lot of upside, and you're eyeing up some better class races. Yeah, yeah, looking forward, he's Q-bred eligible, so yeah, we'll be heading to go, trying to go to Queensland, and um, yeah, take, take a couple more with us, and yeah, take a little team up. As I said, both your dad and yourself are hobby tra trainer drivers. What sort of business are you in and also dad? Yeah, so dad's got his own cleaning business. He's, he's got a couple of workers for him and I just started up my own cabinet making business. So, yeah, just installing kitchens at mainly, subcontracting out to a few companies, but yeah. And Nathan Sherrib also does a bit of credit for this performance. Yeah, definitely, mate. He, um, as a young horse, he's pretty quirky. He missed the feel good. I've heard, yeah, heard a lot of little quirky things about him. Um, and just, yeah, the little numbers we have at home, he just needed to be working with another horse every day and, yeah, just le like learning off another old horse. So, yeah, he helped me out heaps. It's owned by a lot of family members and the feedback in the stables, I feel that there's going to be some celebrations going well into the night. Yeah, well, a couple of our family friends are already calling in sick for work, so, yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> Grant, congratulations once again. Hopefully that's the first of many, and in particular with this fellow Bartolo, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, so do I. I hope so. Thank you.